Welcome to the Road to Episode 7 where I chart the road to the release of Star Wars Episode 7 in 2015 and the big news for this video is Michael Arndt is off writing duties for Star Wars Episode 7. Before we get to that, uh, a little piece of news and that is as we are getting closer and closer to Star Wars Episode 7 uh, many thank the maker for how much further and further away George Lucas is getting from the saga. Um, I, f I feel like Lucas should still be involved in, in some way, and, and as, as far as I'm aware, he is. Uh, you know, he created the whole thing. He, he deserves to have a say in it, uh, if he wants, at least. Um, but I like that he's taking a hands-off approach. That he's, he's handing over the reins to, to other people in terms of the writing and the directing. Um, but uh, the, um, let's just get the, uh, the, th the thing right here. Mashable shared an interview with Lucas's son, uh, Jet Lucas, where he explains that his father has been, has been working on Episode 7 through to Episode 9 for a year prior to the sale of Lucasfilm to, Dis to Disney. So does this mean that Lucas was intending to launch the trilogy himself, or before, uh, before the sale became viable, or was he always intending to hand the films over to uh, someone younger? It's an interesting one. Uh, because you know Lucas, you know, conceived of everything the original the original trilogy as well as the prequels, and he came up with all of that. Um, but the you know the, the bigger difference is the fact that he let other writers and directors have input on Empire and Jedi, which some people forget. Um, whereas the prequels were all him, and uh, you know we got now J.J. Abrams, uh, Michael Arndt, although not anymore, uh, and Lawrence Kasdan all working on the new trilogy and standalone films. Um, you know George Lucas's outlines can be fleshed out and made you know much less cumbersome than the prequel films, as you would imagine. But um, uh, Lucas will still be involved, just not directly, is what we're hearing. And uh, Jet Lucas said, um, you know, he was, at, he was asked, you know, if Lucas was going to keep an eye of what was going on with Star Wars. And Jet Lucas replied, yeah, as any parent watching their kid going to college would. Uh, he's constantly talking to J.J. Abrams. Obviously, J.J. was handpicked. Uh, he is there to guide whenever. Um, he'll help where he can. At the same time, he wants to let it go and uh, become its own new generation. So that's really cool. Um, and interesting as well that, that Lucas was developing the outlines for the, the you know the sequel trilogy a year before the sale. So that's very interesting, and uh, I'm looking forward to many years in the future when we can sit down and watch all the bonus features on the the Blu-rays and uh, and see just exactly how the process was from Lucas coming up with these outlines, you know, allegedly, and to how that was transitioned over to new writers and stuff. But speaking of the writers now. Um, Again, Disney is guaranteeing now that Star Wars Episode 7 is going to be coming out in 2015. Um, but, you know, it might come at the expense of the quality of the film because, from what we hear, J.J. Abrams is pushing to, uh, or was pushing anyway, we now know what the release date is and that'll be in an upcoming video. But J.J. Abrams wanted to, um, again, allegedly hold off the release till 2016 so they had enough time. But Disney w was hell bent on, on you know having it released in 2015. Whether or not that comes into factor, uh, the release of Michael Arndt from writing duties on the film, we don't know. But we've learned just recently that Michael Arndt, um, you know the Academy Award-winning writer who was um, set to write the film, has been taken off of, of writing, and uh, the writers of the film will now be J.J. Abrams, the director and Lawrence Kasdan. So we have the guy who's directing the movie who's going to be writing the script and we also have a secondary writer or you know a co-writer who wrote the best Star Wars film Empire Strikes Back. That is pretty awesome I have to say. Um, apparently that uh, apparently Arn was um, had worked for a full year on, on the script and was only 40 or 50 pages into it when the change happened but no reason was given why. Um, and it, it really seems like J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy at uh, Lucasfilm behind the eight ball with that 2015 release date. Um, so yeah, again, it just seems like um, uh, Disney CEO Bob Iger, who was the man who initially announced that Star Wars Episode Seven would be out in 2015, uh, he really is sticking to that and, and, and is telling them this delay is not going to happen. It's coming out in 2015 and wants to stick to his guns. Uh, and that's that pretty much. Um, so yeah, we got... Um, Abrams and, and Kazdan writing the film. I'm happy with this, you know. I wasn't like when Ar Arndt was released, uh, was uh, announced. I wasn't like Michael Arndt. Holy shit, this is going to be amazing. I was like, wow, that's cool. I like that. I like that decision. Wasn't you know overjoyed with it, but I thought it was a really good good move. I'm not too uh, you know bothered about it, but um, you know it's uh, it is what it is. Kathleen Kennedy had this to say about it. She says, I am very excited about the story we have in place and thrilled to have Larry and JJ working on the script now. There are very few people who fundamentally understand the way a Star Wars story works, like Larry, that's Lawrence Kasdan, 
and it is nothing short of incredible to have him even more deeply involved in its return to the big screen. JJ, of course, is an incredible storyteller in his own right. Michael Arndt has done a terrific job bringing us to this point, and we have an amazing filmmaking and design team in place already prepping for production. So there's no mention of a completed draft or anything like that. You know, um, it just seems um, like he might have been just <laughs> shunted out a bit. We're not quite sure. Um, JJ kind of weighed in on, on the situation um, uh, a while afterwards. And he said it became clear that given the time frame and given the process and the way the thing was going and the way it was working with Larry was that um, to get us where we need to be and when we needed to be there, um, working with Larry Kazdan, especially on a Star Wars movie, is kind of unbeatable. So it just seems like, again, it is a bit of a shady sub subject. He then goes on to say that working with Michael Arndt was a wonderful experience and I couldn't be a bigger fan of his or adore him more. He's a wonderful guy and was incredibly helpful in the process. This doesn't preclude working with Michael again in the future. He is one of the best writers around. Kind of feels like to me they they, they just they weren't <laughs> happy with what he was doing and decided to just take it over. That happens a lot. Um, again, that's just conjecture though. I'm, I'm just guessing. Um, but you know, Aunt's credentials speak for themselves. He's written Little Miss Sunshine, Toy Story 3, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, which is coming out uh, I think this month or, or next month. Um, and he, you know, he may come back, you know, like Abrams has hinted at, you know, he might come back and do episode 8, episode 9, or one of the standalone movies. It might not be it for Michael Arndt for Star Wars, but uh, again, it wasn't something I was really championing in the first place anyway. So, so there you go. Uh, that's my thoughts on the writing team change. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.